this is Mentor Sabrina again, and in this and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your square of squares, your pixel art square code, into even less code than what it's already using by using something called functions. Now, functions are like think of them like verbs when you're speaking. It's doing something. Okay? So what I want you to do is right after all your variables are created, hit enter a couple of times. And we're going to create a function here that will draw a square. So we'll write DEF means define. It's a keyword in Python that indicates that this is a function we are about to define. And here we write the name of the function. So I'm going to call it draw square. And then we need parentheses. Now inside the parentheses go things called your parameters. Now you might not need parameters, but in this case, we're going to take in the color of what, what color square we want to draw. Your parameters are things that your function will need to actually run the way it's supposed to. So we are going to pass in the color so that we can draw our square in whatever color we want. At the end of that line, we need a colon because just like a loop, this is a block of code. Okay? And inside, the first thing we want to do is set the color of our turtle to the color that was passed in. Then we want the code that draws one square, which is right below it. Right here in our first row, we have from begin fill to t.forward. So let's copy that code and paste it inside our function. Now, right now, we're not using our function. This just defines it. If I hit run, we're still drawing our square, but we're not ever using this code here. To use this code, we have to do something which is called calling a function. And to call a function, you have to write its name and fill it in with the parameters. So let's delete this code because remember, this code is inside of our draw square function. So let's just delete that, keep this first loop here because we, we still want five squares. And we're going to call draw square and in parentheses, in quotes, we'll pass black. Now, remember, this originally had another six lines of code inside of it. We just changed it to only one line of code inside this loop. So if I hit run, it's still doing, it's still drawing the squares, okay? So now, go through all of your code and replace wherever you have this code here with a call to the draw square function. You can also get rid of anywhere where you're changing the color. I will do it here, but try and do it on your own first. Now, once you've replaced all of your places where you were drawing the squares with a call to your function, and you hit run, you see that now it's drawing your squares still, so long as you did everything correctly. Now, what this is doing is it reads through the code, and it says, okay, for j in range 5, for the first time it comes in here, it says, okay, draw square, black. So it comes into here, goes to this part of the code and it sets the color to bl the color black because that's the color we passed in. It begins filling, it draws the square, fills it in, moves forward. Then it does this part where it goes to next row and it does exactly the same thing that we were doing before. Now, before we used 60 something lines of code. Now we've only used 43. To use even less code, let's write another function. In this case, go to the end of your draw square function and hit enter a couple of times and backspace four times. Let's define a function to go to the next row. And this one doesn't need any parameters, okay? Just empty with a colon at the end of it. And inside of this, 
let's copy this code here because this code on my lines 23 to 28 is the code for going from next row. So we can copy this and paste it in here and just put the space in so that it's tabbed in at least once. And now, we, wherever we have this, we can just replace this with a call from next row. And now we just changed the amount of code, lines of code we were using before to even less. Now we're using only 41 lines of code. And we could take out some of the spaces in between and use even less lines of code. That's how you've used functions in Python. There's another video with this lesson that will go into more detail about functions in Python. This is how you use it for Pixel. There's another challenge which actually has you take this function and change it a bit so that you don't even need this line here for your drawing a whole, drawing more than one uh, square of the same color at a time.